Hello everyone, this is Revan from DG Integrative. Welcome to Tech News episode 277. The Xiaomi 11i and 11i Hypercharge phones are the rebranded version of Redmi Note 11 Pro and Note 11 Pro Plus. The key specifications include a 108 megapixel primary camera, MediaTek Dimensity 920 processor and runs on Android 11 OS and comes with a 16 megapixel selfie snapper. The Xiaomi 11i price in India starts at rupees 21,999. Xiaomi teased the Hyperphone during the launch of the Xiaomi 11i and 11i Hypercharge. The Hyperphone could be the 11T Pro that was launched globally last year. The Xiaomi 11T Pro comes with a Snapdragon triplet chipset and offers a 120W fast charging support. Xiaomi India have seemingly evaded custom duty of around rupees 653 crore by undervaluation. Xiaomi India was omitting royalty and license fees paid to Qualcomm USA and to Beijing Xiaomi Mobile Software under contractual obligation. This is a violation of section 14 of the Custom Act 1962 and Customs Valuation Rules 2007. OnePlus 10 Pro is set to launch on January 11th in China. OnePlus 10 Pro will be available in three storage options: 8 GB RAM and 128 GB storage, 8 GB RAM, 256 GB storage, and 12 GB RAM and 256 GB storage. Its price will start at 3,999 Chinese yuan, that is approximately 46,700 Indian rupees in the Chinese market. According to the official poster the OnePlus 10 Pro playing an unmentioned mobile game at an average frame rate of 87.9 on the top of that the body temperature never crossed around 43.3 degree centigrade the hyperboost function has to be turned on this and it will not only keep up the temperature under control but also greatly reduce frame rate fluctuation and OnePlus has officially revealed that OnePlus 10 Pro will also be packing some serious seat management components to keep up the temperature under control The cooling plate takes up an area around 34199 in overall area which is the largest ever on any OnePlus device there is also a VC cooling plate proper graphite sheet and even some heat dissipation silica gel Motorola will soon launch its Moto H30 Pro. Internal testing of the device has begun in several Asian countries. Motorola Moto H30 Pro will run on Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 processor. Honor will be launching its first foldable Magic 5 on Monday December 10th and today the price of the phone was spotted on the rehearsal launch the 12GB RAM 256GB variant will be costing us around 13999 Chinese yuan which is roughly around 2200 US dollars and there will also be a 12GB RAM 512GB version for 14999 Chinese yuan that is around 2350 US dollars the Magic 5 will be the Honor's first phone with the Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 chipset Meizu has scheduled a launch event in China for January 12. The conference will kick start at 2:30 p.m. Chinese time. According to the official announcement, Meizu might not unveil its self-branded products. Instead, there will be a product from the company sub-brand like Lipro, Pandia, and Blue. Samsung showcases new foldable tech at CES 2022 which are named as Flex S, G Note and Slideable. These are compact form foldable devices. Flex Note could be used in laptops in the future. Realme has silently introduced two new computing accessories are Realme wireless mouse and type C hub in India. The devices are already available for sale. The mouse has a sensor that supports sensitivity up to 1600 dpi and the new hub offers USB 3.2 generation 1 and HDMI 1.4 ports. The wireless mouse is priced at rupees 799 in the country and can be purchased via realme.com. The Realme type C hub is priced at rupees 999 and it is available in a single white color option. Google has announced some interesting things in the CES 2022. The first pair is for the headphones is coming to the Android TVs and Chromebooks. Special audio based on head movement is coming in the next few months. Built-in Chromecast is coming to more soundbars and speakers starting with Bose. Electric vehicle sales in December 2021 has increased over 240 percentage compared to the December 2020. A total of 50,866 electric vehicles were registered in India in December 2021. Electric two wheelers and three wheeler passengers electric vehicle accounted for 90.3 percentage of registrations in December 2021. UP, Maharashtra and Karnataka were the top 3 states by the electric vehicle registration last month. 
Jio has reintroduced the rupees 499 recharge plan in India. Jio plan offers 28 days validity, 2 GB per day, unlimited voice calls to any network, and Disney Plus Hotstar mobile annual subscription. The recharge pack is available to recharge through My Jio app, website, and third-party applications like Amazon, Paytm, Phone Pay, etc. Apple's first mixed reality VR headset will be available in the limited quantities around late 2022. The company could introduce it at the iPhone launch event and ship it around the end of this year. The adequate supplies of the AR headset will not arrive until the first quarter of 2023. BGMI India Series 2021 quarter finals have conducted and the top 24 teams are moving to the semi finals. Crafton has announced the date, time and format of the BGMI 2021 semi finals. BGMI India Series 2021 semi finals will begin in January 7. Electronic Arts and Tencent Team Studios are seemingly working on the online Need for Speed open world mobile game. The Need for Speed mobile game is expected to enter the teasing phase later this year. Electronic Arts may announce more details about the next Need for Speed mobile title in the coming months. PUBG update 15.2 brings new tactical gear and revamped tutorials. The new update is already live in the test server and it will be available on the live server on January 12th. PUBG Battleground server maintenance will be longer than usual, beginning on January 10th and continuing till January 12th. Thanks for watching this video. Please kindly support my channel by giving a like, share and subscribe and follow Digi Integrity on Twitter, Instagram and Facebook.